Métele el freno. Right behind. I didn't do it. I ran out of rigor. Ever since I've been coming to Cabo, I, I've noticed the Picanti fleet and uh, the boats that they fish out of are Cabo Sport Fishers. Uh, the Cabo Sport Fisher is, is a fantastic platform. Picanti fleet has 18 Cabos to fish out of, and gosh, they're just fantastic. They're fast, uh, they, they pull up a lot of fish, and they're just really nice inside. Great to fish out of. Picanti fleet. Started down here with a team Picanti, came down and fished the Bisbee's tournament and broke the tournament record with a 993 pound blue marlin. Uh, this fish is kind of hard to imagine, a 993 pound marlin. If you go to their shop uh, in the mall, you'll see this fish on the wall and he just fits from one side of the building to the other. He's an amazing, amazing fish. 993 pounds, and and that's how they started. They they won a new Cabo Sport Fisher for breaking the Bisbee's tournament record, and Phil Gentile and his crew are off and running with the Picanti fleet. Fish of the Baja is brought to you by these fine sponsors: Galvin, TFO, Red Zone Apparel, Hobie Cat, and the Grand Solmar Lands End Resort and Spa. One of the nice things with Picanti is everything is taken care of. The boats are, are pristine, they're really kept clean, the tackle is all in order, they have a, a great array of lures. Going out uh, with Picanti is great because they just really find fish. I love getting on top where I've got a little better view, and it seems like you're going slower when you're up there too, I don't know why, but um, just having a second set of eyes is always good. Yeah, Ricardo, can we release? Or not? No? I know they make a mess. Dinner time. Comida. Okay, see, okay. Ah, so gorgeous. So one of the prettiest fish in the water here, I think. Absolutely amazing. Okay, Ricardo. Yep. Okay. Got him. Right in the box. He just turned around, ate both of the dead ones that we threw out to him. Yeah. It's wild. You can just chase these fish down. It's, it's unusual, but they're really not afraid of the boat. You can run right up on them, run right in front of them, drop a bait on I just saw about two inches of his tail, and uh, and then he came up and sliced one time. Yeah, he's like 11 o'clock from the boat he was. I love getting on top where I've got a little better view. And it seems like you're going slower when you're up there too. I don't know why, but um, just having a second set of eyes is always good. Come on, is she? Right here, right here. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Come on, eat it, buddy. 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 Come on,
Uh, like you didn't know he's hooked yet. Uh, there he comes. See. Woo! Yeah. Stop. You know, Thank the other you. thing with the Conti that it's great is they are 100% released. They will not keep a billfish, and that is, that's really great to see a fleet that does that. out of the water, JJ. He was really hungry. Awesome, buddy. Cool. Come on, up. come on, Jim. Come on. We are right there. There he is. Woo! One of the cool things we did today was to use the Troll Pro camera with a GoPro camera inside it. And 
It's unbelievable what we found out. We had a few fish eat early. We had a Dorado come to the boat right away and caught that fish. And you think, okay, that's a Dorado. He's all by himself. But when we were able to review the Troll Pro footage, we realized there was 50 or 60 tuna underneath that fish. Hey. No, just try. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I'd rather have the belt. I didn't see it eat, but it looks like a little tuna. A little bit of everything today. Ponte abusado porque como que la vienen jalando el güey. Some sashimi tonight. Little tuna. Leader. All right. Little yellow fin. Totally cool. Oh. We saw a bunch of flashes, a bunch of tuna. También esa. También al vato. We got every rod going up. Oh, the shirt came off. Tore out. He tore out or he cut the line. We saw a bunch of flashes, and this might be another shark. Another one? El verdecito, el morrillo. We're like keeping the shark on board from the lure, okay? Okay, yeah. Take the lure and we'll let it go. Okay. Okay, we're going to pull him in the tuna door. All right, I'll try to feed him over to you. See? Yep. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna set the leader. He's good. Okay, 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 go. We want to get him in here because we want to save the lure. We already lost one. Hi! See? <sighs> Two sharks and a tuna. We were going along. Jose and I were up on the up at top, and we just started seeing flashes in the water. See, they're just turning on the side. Looks like a bunch of tuna, big school of tuna or something. And we just trolled over to them, and then all four rods went off. It's crazy. Two sharks on lures, that's, that's really crazy. This is my favorite color, purple and black. It's be very good. It's a matter of time. That's a shark. <laughs> that one goes off.
feels like another shark. It's very strong. Good size tuna. Huh? It's good, good size, size tuna? tuna? Yeah. Good job. Way to go, Ricardo. Shark. <laughs> Sharks coming. I got a shark right behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Only ahead. I wonder why it got so so light all of a sudden. So we're look at look at the look at the bike. Wow. It's amazing. Very fine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know you've had a great day when your rigor is full of flags. Stay tuned for this word from our sponsors. Fish of the Baja is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Galvin. TFO, Red Zone Apparel, Hobie Cat, and the Grand Solmar Lands End Resort and Spa. Hosting the Fish the Baja crew for our first few shoots of the year is the brand new Grand Solmar Lands End Resort and Spa. The original Solmar was where Mary and I had stayed on our very first trip to Cabo San Lucas some 20 years ago, but the location is the only similarity. Grand Solmar has set a new standard for luxury and comfort in Cabo San Lucas. The well-appointed rooms all feature fantastic ocean views and all the comforts of home. Luxurious baths, granite countertops in the kitchens, and exterior porches all combine to make your stay second to none. Uniquely situated between a rock cliff and the Pacific Ocean, Grand Solmar surrounds you with luxury at every turn, from shapely infinite edge pools and waterfalls to great hot tubs and an amazingly detailed desert landscaping. Best of all, a friendly, well-trained staff caters to your every whim and ensures that your Grand Solmar vacation will be one you'll never forget. This season on Fish the Baja, we've added this little housing to our shooting setup. This is called a Troll Pro. It is a little PVC housing. In the back, it's got a bracket to hold the GoPro camera. On the belly, it has a keel weight right here, and that keeps the housing from moving all around. Very simple to set this up with your GoPro. You simply slip it in the back, fits right in that little housing. You tighten up that housing with an Allen wrench. Very, very simple. And there it is, held in place. And you are gonna be blown away by what you see behind the boat. You know, the great thing about the GoPro camera also is it's very simple to use. You put it in the housing, turn it on, and press the button, and it's ready to shoot. You know, I tell you what, having a GoPro camera on the boat is really great. Knowing what's behind the boat, you always wonder, but what's really back there? Now you'll know with the Troll Pro and the GoPro setup, it's a lot of fun. Now, one of the cool things I haven't seen a lot of in Cabo is uh, a shark. I know there's some sharks here, but uh, I've actually never had a shark uh, attack a fish in 20 years of fishing down here. And today I had three, um, and we didn't realize until we got back, how they were really hitting the fish. One of the cool things uh, with the Troll Pro was seeing the shark come up, and we actually had the shark come up and bite on the camera. And I actually loosened a piece of tape that was on the camera and kind of got in the way of the shot later on, but um, it was neat to see uh, how many fish there were and, and how aggressive the sharks were. You know, when we looked at the Troll Pro footage, we freeze framed uh, a still off the video. And I, I took my finger and I counted 63 tuna in this one shot that we could see. Uh, who knows how many there really were, so uh, it's an amazing thing to have a great underwater camera. Four tuna, two Dorado. Flag. We ran out of rigor. If we caught any more fish, we'd have to have a longer outrigger to get it. Awesome. 
heck of a day in Cabo.